Extraction of crude metal from concentrated ore. Isolation of metals from concentrated ore involves two major steps A. Conversion to oxide and B. Reduction of the oxide to metal. It is easier to reduce oxide than sulphide or carbonate ore. The given ore should be converted into oxide by a suitable method. A. Calcination Calcination involves heating when the volatile matter escapes, leaving behind the metal oxide. Fe2O3, XH2O, S, gives Fe2O3, S, plus XH2O, G. ZnCO3, S, gives ZnO, S, plus CO2, G. CaCO3, MgCO3, S, gives CaO, S, plus MgO, S, plus 2CO2, G. B. Roasting. It is a process in which ore is heated in regular supply of air at a temperature below the melting point of the metal. Sulphide ores are converted into oxide by roasting. 2ZNS zinc blend plus 3O2 gives 2ZNO plus 2SO2. 2PBS galena plus 3O2 gives 2PBO plus 2SO2. 2Cu2S copper glands plus 3O2 gives 2Cu2O plus 2SO2. The sulphide ores of copper are heated in a reverberatory furnace so as to convert them into oxides. Slag. The compound formed on reaction of gang with flux is called slag. It is a fusible mass which floats over metal. Copper ore containing iron as impurity is mixed with silica to remove iron oxide as iron silicate, slag. FeO, iron 2 oxide, plus SiO2, silica, gives FeSiO3, slag. Reduction of oxide to metal. The process of converting metal oxide into metal is called reduction. It needs a suitable reducing agent depending upon the reactivity or reducing power of the metal. The common reducing agents used are carbon or carbon monoxide or any other metals like Al, Mg, etc. MxOy plus Yc gives Xm plus Yco gives free energy explains why only a certain reducing agent and a minimum specific temperature are suitable for reduction a metal oxide 